Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a vacuum filtration apparatus to filter buffers or any other solutions that you might have. So now I'm going to show you the basic parts uh, that's in a vacuum filtration apparatus. First of all, you have your uh, filtering flask right here. You have your filtering funnel. You have your filter base. And you have your filters. And then lastly, you have the clamp. So we are going to assemble the apparatus right now. Uh, as you can see uh, on the filtering base, there's two parts. Uh, the filter needs to cover the white area here. So now we'll put the filter base on, make sure it's secured. And then the next thing you want to do is use the forcep and place the filter onto the filter base. It is very important that you never touch the filter with either a bare hand or a glove hand. And make sure that the filter covers the white area that's on the filter base. So after you put it on, uh, you take the filtering funnel, you place it on top like that. And once everything is in position. Uh, you want to secure the filtering funnel using the clamp that's provided. So after you have assembled and secured the apparatus, uh, what you need to do right now is hook up the vacuum. So the tubing goes here. After you hook up the tubing, then you can turn on the water. Well, now the vacuum is on, uh, we can start to filter the buffer right now. Uh, what you have to do is basically uh, take your buffer and then pour it into the filtering funnel. So how this uh, filtration apparatus works is that um, the vacuum was generated, generated within the filtering flask will draw the solution from the, the filtering funnel through the filter and into the flask. Uh, during the process, basically the, the, bu the buffer gets filtered. And because I have detergent in my buffer, uh, it becomes very bubbly. Uh, one trick that you can use to get rid of the bubble is that you temporarily break the vacuum. Like that and then the bubble will go away and then you restore the vacuum. Uh, you probably have to do this process several times before all, your, all of your buffer is filtered. Now I'm done filtering, but before you turn off the water, make sure you break the vacuum first, like that. Break the vacuum, then you can turn off the water. In the end, you end up with clean buffers that can be loaded onto automated chromatography systems. See you guys next time.